guys welcome back to my channel it's tanya and today i am back to you guys with another new video i am pleased to announce that i am finally back on my routine so i'm kicking things off this week with another what i eat in a day video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i make my favorite green smoothie that tastes good and also delivers amazing results on my weight loss journey i'm going to show you how i made some lemon pepper chicken thighs with veggies as well as a southwest taco bowl which was delicious so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into what i ate today all right so now let's get into how i make this green smoothie i add my veggies and fruit first this is frozen spinach, frozen kale, a whole honey crisp apple, and then I'm gonna top this off with some frozen pineapples. This, will, this is what makes it taste good, honestly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my supplement. So I'm using the plant-based protein powder. I'm also gonna add some L-glutamine in here to help with muscle recovery. And then I'm gonna add some collagen, which is also good for muscle recovery, and it makes your hair grow. Lastly, some chia seeds for a little bit of extra fiber. And then I'm going to add my ginger and turmeric powder. The ginger makes it taste good. And then the turmeric powder, turmeric is just really good for getting rid of inflammation. And then lastly, I'm adding some pressed coconut water instead of regular water because it gives it a little bit of extra razzle dazzle, okay? We want this to taste good. Um, so yeah, that's why I add that. And then we're just gonna blend this on up and that's pretty much it. Y'all, this one little smoothie has 53 grams of protein. And I generally have this after my morning workout. So this essentially is breakfast. Now let's go ahead and get started on lunch. So I'm starting off here with some chicken thighs and I'm just adding some lemon pepper seasoning here. Now there's only three thighs in this bowl. I was like, um, that's not giving. So I need some more because um, I had a feeling I was going to want more. And I was right because I did. So we're just going to go ahead and season this up on both sides um just you know, you know it tastes like something and then once i get it seasoned up on both sides i'm gonna spray it off with a little bit of olive oil to create like a little marinade i don't know what this does girl but i saw them do this on food network whenever they in a hurry they season and add olive oil so that's what i started doing okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let that marinate and then we're gonna jump into the veggies we're gonna get those started these are some frozen carrots. I'm just like boiling them to defrost them and then I'm adding a little bit of monk fruit. So I'm using the white monk fruit as a substitute for white sugar and then of course the brown one as a substitute for brown sugar. Um, I didn't show on camera but I also added a little bit of cinnamon here as well and this is just going to give us some sweet little glazed carrots. We're going to let that marinate and then start on our broccoli. So broccoli is not that deep, you just got to steam it. Um, I'm going to get that going though. Now I'm going to go ahead and add these chicken thighs to my cast iron grill. Y'all, this is one of my favorite impulse buys ever. Like, I love this thing. Like, it gives you everything that you love about a grill without going outside. I'm going to link it down below along with most of this other stuff too so you can get you one. But the grill marks and that kind of charred flavor it gives, unmatched. Like, look at those grill marks. We're going to zoom in. Get into it. Like, get into it. You can't tell me that it didn't come off somebody's grill so i can't wait to put like you know hot dogs or something on it and really see if it's giving but i'm in love with it so far i mean look at that okay didn't even have to leave the house but yeah so we're just gonna but anyways we're just gonna keep going and cook this chicken all the way through please make sure your chicken is done all the way through if you're impatient cut it up before you put it on the grill and it'll cook faster um but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and plate this up i got my broccoli i got my carrots i know this looks like a lot of food but honestly girl broccoli does not even hold me down like that like i can eat broccoli and hour or so later i need something else so <laughs> don't let the large amount of broccoli fool you then i'm going to just add my chicken thighs and boom that's it we got lunch and it's good and healthy next let's get started on dinner we're making the southwest taco bowl i'm going to just defrost this frozen uh fire roasted corn that was finally in stock um and then i'm going to go ahead and start browning this meat so this is ground turkey you can tell by how sad it looks that it's ground turkey but don't worry we're gonna doctor it up and it's gonna be good typically when i make this i use like turkey sausage but they didn't have any so we gotta settle for its bland cousin which is fine because we're gonna hook it up so i'm just gonna cook this 
through until it's brown and then we'll go ahead and start seasoning it up. Now that it's finally cooked through, I'm gonna add some veggies. So here I'm adding some green bell peppers. I'm gonna also add some red bell peppers. You can tell by how nicely cut this is that I've been using my vegetable chopper. Um, this was one of those days where I actually like prepped my veggies for the week and had everything chopped all nice. But anyways, we're just gonna add that and then stir it up and let those flavors kind of mesh together. Um, so it'll make this ground turkey taste like something because yeah, it, it's gonna take some work, but we're gonna get there. So yeah, we're just gonna let that marinate, cook those uh, peppers down so it'll release those juices and give some life to this ground turkey. Now it's time to season. So I'm using this old El Paso taco seasoning. You can use whatever taco seasoning you like, but maybe I was raised on old El Paso, so ain't, there, there is no other taco seasoning as far as I'm concerned. But we are gonna generously season this with old El Paso along with a little bit of garlic powder. Not too much on the garlic powder. Not too much on the garlic powder though, because we don't want it to be like salty. Um, and then I'm gonna add some chipotle seasoning just to give it a little bit of spice. And then some jalapeno seasoning, which is like my secret weapon, along with some fresh chopped jalapenos because we need a little bit of heat in here. Now I'm gonna add some chili powder cause I tasted it and it still wasn't tasting like much. So we're gonna add a little bit more razzle dazzle. Now you can see like it's, it's getting a little tan now, okay? So it's looking like something. Um, at this point, it was starting to taste good and the peppers were starting to sweat down and everything. So we were making some progress here. So lastly, I'm just gonna add in some onions. Onions sweat down really quickly. So that's why I add them last. Cause if, I feel like if I add them earlier in the process, they will start to burn by the time this actually starts tasting like something so that's why I added them in last and now it's just time to build our bowl so this is some leftover cauliflower rice that I just heated up in the microwave we're gonna use this as our base and then I also have some cilantro lime Uncle Ben's rice also from my microwave um, but yeah we're just gonna mix this in with the cauliflower rice this gives it a little bit of life but not too many carbs Now I'm adding some romaine lettuce that I probably should have chopped finely, but I didn't because at this point, girl, I was starving and this is my second time cooking today. So like, be serious. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to add our little taco blend, our little Southwest taco blend here. Heavy on this because we need our protein. And then we're going to add some um, corn. I wanted to add some black beans, girl, but I did not even have any. And I could have swore I had some in the pantry, but whatever. It was still good. Um, and then I'm just adding some fire roast salsa a little bit of fat free cheese and then we're gonna do a dollop of fat free sour cream right in the middle and a sprinkle of cilantro and that is pretty much it get into it this was delicious 10 out of 10 we'll make it again but with black beans this time for sure <laughs> all right guys so that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it we ate good today but your girl is tired and it is time for me to go to bed so I will catch y'all in my next one make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!